Oh no. I'm going to start filming when I'm not ready. <gasps> oh no. I don't like this angle at all. Not cool. Should we get Ray out of shot? <laughs> it's kind of distracting. Hey everybody, Sierra Media Gal here, also known as Andrea. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very um, interestingly themed haul for you that I threw together because uh, clearly I've had a shopping pattern of late. I have very much been loving the pastel color block trend that has been I guess it's been around for a little while, but if you're not new to this channel, the, you know that I tend to veer more towards neutral colors. Not that I don't have any pops of color, but a lot of the pops of color that I have are very, very much like in the fall aesthetic and in the fall color realm. Clearly very influenced by spring too. <laughs> I, I have a lot of, like I said, pastel colored and color block fashion items to show you. So yeah, I'm not gonna waste any time. Let's dig right in. So I have a combination of items from Poshmark, Forever 21, Amazon, and quite a few items from the Stony Clover Lane and Target collaboration that came out a couple weeks ago. Yeah, I went a little ham for that stuff, which normally isn't even my style, but I definitely have a substantial haul for you today. This is pretty much 99% fashion related with one exception. I have one beauty item to show you as well. Please tell me it's in this bag. If it isn't, I'll cry. It is there. Jeez. Okay. So I'm gonna start with the single beauty item. And I actually bought this off of Amazon. Kiss Gel Press-On Nails in this really pretty pastel color block. I am so excited to wear these. I'm loving this trend. I'm loving this color block pastel theme. So like, it's right up my alley at the moment. So I was a sucker. I will try to link whatever I can for you that's still available down in the description box, by the way. My nails are so small and my fingers are so tiny that usually I can only get one use out of them, which kind of stinks. These nails are also a lot longer than the faux nails that I like to wear, but I'll just cut them down. No biggie. I've actually been taking a break from wearing press on nails. I probably haven't worn any since Christmas time. Just wanted to give my nails a breather, but um, can't stand the way they're looking these days. So I'm really excited to put these on. These were on the more expensive side too, I will say. I know I spent over $10 on these. Normally I wouldn't pay more than like five or six bucks for some faux nails, but I, I couldn't resist these. So if I can link these, I will. Yeah, I think those are gonna look really, really cute. Before we get into the fashion items, I figure I might as well show you what I'm wearing since it's on brand. I actually showed this baby blue jacket in my first impressions Luca and Gray video, a couple videos back. I will pop up a link up here for you if you'd like to go and watch it. This is only one of two items that I ended up keeping. I love this though. I wear this all the time, particularly right now when it's some days on the warmer side and other days it's on the cooler side. This has been perfect. I think mine the medium slash large and I tend to be a large to an extra large on top it just depends on the brand if it's still available I will link it below I know it came in a couple other colors as well I am half tempted to maybe buy the blush pink if it's still available because I just love this so much it was originally around 40 to 45 but I did have a coupon if you've never bought from Luca and Gray before I think if you sign up for their emails you will get a coupon code you can save a little bit of money that way I can't necessarily Necessarily recommend Luca and Gray as a company. To be honest with you, I wasn't too impressed. Again, go watch my video if you really want to hear my true thoughts. But this was one of the items that I, I've really been enjoying. And then <laughs> these really cute ceramic earrings I bought off of Poshmark probably at least six months ago. But I didn't have a lot of like pastel blue in my wardrobe at the time to like really pair with them. And I'd say the last like two months or so, I've been wearing them like crazy as a result. I'll be showing you some more stuff <laughs> that goes perfectly with these earrings. They're actually very, very lightweight. I love this little pop of like pastel blue. That is one of my favorite colors right now. The baby blue, pastel blue. I'm just, I'm loving that color in particular. I bought these. If you're not a new subscriber, <laughs> this is gonna make total sense to you. It's a dapper looking fox wearing a hat and drinking some coffee. I mean, 
<laughs> so cute. And it like kind of looks like a cameo as well. The seller had these listed as being from ModCloth. I don't recall ever seeing these on ModCloth's website, but I could be wrong. And at the end of the day, like the brand doesn't matter to me. I just, I thought they were so cute. I think they were originally $30 and I got the seller to knock them down to like 20 or 18 bucks. So I consider these a steal. I love these. And right up my alley because I love foxes. Definitely my spirit animal. I thought I would wear these today for the video. Next up is another item from Poshmark. However, this particular item has a ton of listings on there. So I will try to link a couple of them below for you if I can. I was kind of going back and forth and debating whether to get it in a size large or a size XL. And in the end, I opted for the XL. I should have gone with my gut because it's quite stretchy and just a little too baggy, but I've found different ways to wear it anyway. So I'm just gonna keep it in my closet for now. A baby pink sweater tank. It's got this really pretty like multi-pattern knit design with like a heart line bust, which I really like. It's on the shorter end too. I wouldn't say it's quite cropped, but it's by no means long. It was new with tags for only $11. I still have the tag here. Originally was $30. And this is from the Sandy Liang line at Target. This collaboration, I think was probably like a year ago. I don't remember like liking too much from that line, but this in particular, I thought was really, really cute. And somehow I missed it. I will say there's a lot of listings for this that are in like anywhere from like 25 to 35 or $40 range. That's crazy. It's good quality. I just surprised for Target that this was $30. It seems very pricey for Target. Yeah, I was happy that I was able to get it for 11 bucks. Again, it's just a little too baggy. I should have gone with the large, but I'm, I'm gonna rock it regardless. I'm actually thinking I could even wear this into like the colder months if I just layer it. It's super soft, very stretchy and good quality. So yeah, I love this. I figure I'll get the last two Poshmark items out of the way. Next up is a purchase I made a couple months ago and it's this neon green open knit cardigan that's actually from Aerie. And I believe I got this in a large. I can't read the tag, unfortunately. I think I got this in a large. I love Aerie quality too. So this is a really, really nice. Feels more expensive than it is. Aside from baby blue, this is another color that I've been loving of late. Even, I think it was last year at one point, I bought some biker shorts in this color from Express. So, I mean, it's definitely a color that's been around and been hot for a while. This like open knit drop shoulder style. It's very lightweight, so it's been perfect for spring. And yeah, I've been getting so much use out of this. The seller was originally selling this for 25 and I offered 20 and they accepted. It's such a nice pop of color. Lastly is another item from Poshmark that I, I wasn't initially going to include, but again, it fits the color theme. I actually wore it in my last video, which was my trying on all my jeans video. And it's this really pretty embroidered sweater originally from American Eagle. If you're an old subscriber of mine, you might even recognize this sweater. I wore this in the purple version that I, I think I also got that off of Poshmark a couple of years back in my I think it was my hair color tips and tricks video from like probably three years ago now when I used to do my hair all kinds of funky colors. You can go back and watch that if you're interested. I'll even pop up a card up here for you. But that sweater was always too big for me. I got it in an XL, not really realizing that it's intended to be oversized to begin with. I ended up selling my purple sweater on Poshmark. Decided only once I sold that one would I even consider getting a different one. When I was looking on Poshmark, I saw a ton of listings for this, the beautiful baby blue version, which I actually like so much more. Besides baby blue and purple, it also comes in like a charcoal color. But if you just even type in American Eagle floral embroidery sweater, a ton of these will come up. At the time I found the cheapest one available, which was only $30. Normally I was seeing them for like 30 to $40. So snatched it up right away. And it's in near perfect condition. It's got a deep V neck, beautiful pink and red and green embroidery all over it. It's nice and long with a drop shoulder, very oversized. Um, it's very soft and very lightweight. So it's perfect for this time of year. I'm so happy that there was a baby blue version available. The purple's nice, but this is definitely more my color, right? So. Yeah, I picked this up from Poshmark. And again, I will try to link a couple of these down below for you. So yeah, if you're interested in picking up this sweater, there are a ton of these 
on Poshmark is a more recent item that I purchased from Forever 21. I haven't shopped at Forever 21 since probably since college. I'm not gonna date myself by telling you how long ago that was, but suffice it to say, it was a long time ago. But I actually was watching a video from, I believe it's Shannon Shortcake here on YouTube, and she was wearing this cardigan, and I immediately just stopped what I was doing, paused the video, and went straight over to Forever 21 to order it. I'm a sucker like that. It's this adorable pastel color block cardigan. Isn't this just scream spring? I wore this for Easter and even the week leading up to Easter and the week after, rocked this multiple times. I love it. I got mine in the Zero X because again, I haven't shopped at Forever 21 in ages and I really wasn't sure what my sizing would correlate over there. Because from my understanding, they do still tend to run small. It fits perfectly. It's even a little bit oversized, which was what I was going for. As you can see here, it's got that wonderful baby blue, more of a lavender, purple, and yellow color block scheme going on. It is crop style, which I don't mind. If you're not into the crop length, you might want to skip out on it. Very soft and roomy. It's got three of these turtle shell style buttons. I'm blanking on how much I pay for this. I want to say 18 to 25, somewhere in that range. We're really very affordable. Imagine this cardigan, a pair of high-waisted jeans, and these nails. I mean, come on. I will be the color black queen. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing I will say about it, treat it with care. Forever 21 is a fast fashion company, so we know this. So it's not going to be the best quality. We know this. And mine is kind of like pilling quite a bit. You see that already? Granted, um, I was at work and getting um, a 10 minute massage, but <laughs> we actually had a massage therapist come in and, and treat all of the staff. I even thought about taking this off before she started working on me and I should have because yeah, you just kind of have to be careful. I do have a pilling light sheen that I can hopefully get some of that out. It does uh, pill very easily. So just if you're interested in this cardigan, be sure to treat it with care. It's so cute. I love it. All right. And finally, we're going to get into all of my Stony Clover Lane and Target collaboration items. I admittedly went a little FOMO with this whole thing. Like I already mentioned, this isn't normally my style, all of this pastel colors, but I don't know. I'm just, I'm really feeling it. I believe that you can wear whatever style you want at any age. So I'm on that track and I'm staying there. I don't know if it was the FOMO in me that decided to buy like <laughs> as many things as I could get my hands on that I liked. There were definitely some things in that line that I was more than happy to skip over but there were definitely some pieces in there that I thought I had better get that or I will be very, very upset if I don't. <laughs> Starting with these really cute baby pink slide on sandals. I love this color. I mean, this would go together. So cute. I actually wore these on Easter, which was kind of a mistake. It wasn't warm enough yet to wear sandals, but I was just so eager to wear these that I just, I didn't mind. I sucked it up. They're really soft and really comfortable, surprisingly, because they were only $10 to start with. And secondly, I have a lot of foot issues. I've made mention of that numerous times on this channel. So buying shoes is always very hit or miss for me. These are a winner. I want to say like a, almost like a silicone material. I loved the heart shaped buckle on them. I thought that was so cute. I got these in a size eight. I probably could have even gone down to a seven, but eight is my standard size and they are fine. They might stretch out a little bit over time, but you have a couple buckle options here. So I'll just take advantage of those if I have to. And now that I have so many pastel fashion items in my wardrobe, I have so many things I can pair this with now. These are adorable. And the second pair of shoes that I got were these color block ones. As you can see, I am loving that color block trend. Hello, these would go perfectly with that cardigan from Forever 21. I wanted these even more than the baby pink ones. If I could not have gotten my hands on these, I would have been so, so, so sad. I actually paired these with the neon green cardigan on my Instagram. Go and give me a follow there if you would like to see me styling some of these pieces because I've already done so. They're like a platform sandal in this really pretty blush pink, mint green. I love that mint green color. White and like a pale yellow. I think they came in a yellow, which I thought was actually really cute. I almost wish I would have picked those up as well, but 
Like I said, I went a little too ham as it is. I, I got more than enough. They have white hearts on the bottom. Got these in my standard size eight, and I would say they're very true to size. And they're very comfortable. I've only worn them for short periods of time. I'm hoping that they'll remain as sturdy as they've been because I definitely need that cushion and support. These were $20, so they were more expensive than the pink pair, I think just because of the platform. This and one other item that I'm gonna show you upcoming, these were like my number one. Did not wanna have to go on Poshmark or Macari and pay quadruple the price for them. If I can still link to any of this stuff on Target's website, I will. It was sold out for quite a while, but when I last checked a couple days ago as of filming this video, there were some things that were back on the website. My store even around Easter time had some of the bags still available. I couldn't believe it. I think some people were doing some returns. So, I mean, it's worth following up on your Target regularly if you really wanna get this stuff and prefer not to have to pay like the crazy reseller prices. I'm gonna live in these all summer long. They are so stinking amazing. Next up is a piece that I am so, so, so excited that I was able to get my hands on. And it is one of the Stony Clover Lane duffel bags, which normally on their website retail for, I think starting at like 200 bucks. That is absurd to me. So I knew I wanted to try and get one of the duffel bags and the one that I really wanted was the one I ended up getting. The baby blue one. Look at that beautiful blue color. I am obsessed with this. I actually don't own a duffel bag and it's something I've been wanting for a while and just kind of putting off. I have a carry-on suitcase, but I do a lot of like overnight babysitting. So I've always thought it would be nice to just have a like a duffel bag like this to bring with me for shorter trips. So now I finally have one. It's got these nice gripping handles and they're actually like thinner at the top. So it's easy to grasp, but then it also has a long strap that you can use if you prefer. Got these cute little hearts here on the side. Gold hardware throughout. And a lot of their duffel bags, I was actually looking at the lavender one, but I'm, I'm glad I was able to get my hands on the blue for this material. Ooh, this very easily like washable, durable material over, what is it called? I'm blanking on it. A lot of like their clothing and a lot of these bags came in. Anyway, I'm glad I went with this one instead because I feel like, again, this is easily washable. It's not gonna get like really messed up. I should be able to clean it fairly easily. Really, really good quality. It's a really good, nice size too. This is the opening. There's no zippers inside. That, I mean, that doesn't really bother me, especially for the price. It does have an outside pocket area here. If you want to just like throw your phone or something, small items in there. This was $40. So this was the most expensive thing that I bought from the line. Again, these retail on Stony Clover Lane starting at like 200 bucks and up. I don't really understand <laughs> the popularity, I guess, of Stony Clover Lane. And honestly, I had never even heard of it before they did this collaboration with Target. But apparently they have a whole Disney line that is in the Disney parks. So they're kind of a big deal. They weren't on my radar, but they definitely will be going forward. I love this baby blue. I'm like all about it. I have a couple like short trips planned for the summer. So this will be perfect. This second to last item, aside from those color block shoes, was the number one thing on my list. And it's this, I can't even get it all in shut color block beach tote bag i'll do some cutaways of course so you can see it better i love this so much <laughs> this color blocking is like everything to me i don't have a large tote for starters i don't have a beach bag but like i won't even only use this for the beach i'll use this every day i i think this is so Oh, freaking adorable. Again, got same color blocking as sandals that I showed you. Yellow, green, and some white. It's got these little handles if you prefer to use those. And then it has the longer shoulder strap. Like the duffel bag, they're thinner at the top so you can easily grasp them. It's got a magnetic closure. And then this yellow pocket inside, I should say pouch. Still need Clover Lane stitched tag inside. I forgot to show it on the duffel bag, but they all have this signature Stony Clover Lane and Bullseye Target on the gold hardware. Plastic itself is really durable and really thick. It's not that like cheap plastic material. It's even got little gold hearts around the strap area. Okay, I, to me, this is just, this is beautiful. And this thing, like the duffel bag, is amazing quality for the price. This was $30 and 
worth every penny in my book. I can see why this stuff sold out. Not just because Stony Clover Lane is apparently popular, but also this from Stony Clover Lane itself would easily be like a $300 bag. So when you can get it for significantly cheaper than that, yeah, you're gonna wanna grab it. There's so many like amazing little details about these items that I just love. So I picked up this beach tote and because it was available, I bought the matching pouch that fits perfectly with it. They had a bunch of these in different colors and in the terry cloth material, but I, I of course wanted this because it matches my tote. Again, it's got that wonderful color blocking, gold hardware with Stony Clover Lane and Bullseye zipper. It's got a mint strap. I would love to find more fashion pieces in this like mint green. So, so pretty. This plastic is also really great quality. This was $15. And normally I wouldn't want a bag or a pouch that's like completely clear and open, but I love the look of these color block items. So I intend to use the heck out of them all spring and summer. Imagine this tote, popping this with your phone and your sunscreen and some moisturizer and taking this to the beach or just out to the pool. I mean, how cute. So I completely forgot to include this in the video. I had bought this dress beautiful baby blue dress and a size 1X, but as you can see here, it was way too big on me. Could have easily gone down to probably a large. And as cute as it is, I just felt like it really wasn't doing anything for my body or my shape. So sadly, I didn't keep this one. So there we go. That was my pastel themed fashion haul for you. I hope you enjoyed it. Comment down below and let me know which of these was your favorite. I always like to hear from you guys. Did you happen to snag anything from the Stony Clover Lane and Target collaboration? Cause that stuff sold out within hours online. My Target is very close to me, thankfully, but it's a small Target. It's not one of the big massive Targets. So I knew whatever inventory they had, it was gonna be so, so limited. So I'm thrilled that was able to get the things that I wanted. Really lucked out. But anyways, if you are new here, I would love it if you would consider subscribing. I do a lot of fashion related content on my channel and I would love to have you here. Be sure to hit that notification bell as well so that you can get alerts whenever I upload a video. Give this video a thumbs up if you made it to the end. I'd really appreciate it. I hope you are all doing well wherever you are and I will see you guys again soon. Bye. <laughs>